Hi guys, so today I'm gonna to teach you how to make this delicious Spanish rice recipe using some very simple ingredients that I'm sure you have in your kitchen right now. There is a secret ingredient that no one can ever guess when they try this, but I tell you what, I get a lot of compliments. I get a lot of uh, people asking me for this recipe. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make this delicious Spanish rice recipe. And we have roughly about two tablespoons of oil. Uh, now we're gonna bring over some onions that were chopped, not all of it though. We're gonna do about mm, three or so tablespoons. Okay, oh, that's good. You like the that's good. All right, so we're gonna saute the onions until they are soft. This is seriously the best Spanish rice recipe. It's super easy. Um, people will ask you what your secret is. And we do have a little secret ingredient that will what we will add in here. But first, we are sauteing the onions. Yes. All right, so the onions are sauteing. You want to make sure that you keep the uh, heat low, not too high, you don't to burn, you don't to become kind of like translucent. Uh, so we are sauteing the onions. Now I'm going to go grab a cup and a half of rice, saute our onion, and to that I'm going to add in a cup and a half of rice. I am using short green rice. Um, you can add it in dry and go ahead and saute that for a little bit. Again, making sure your temperature isn't turned up too high, just enough to um, just enough to get it lightly browned. So I've sauteed the rice for a couple minutes. It's starting to get a little bit brown. Um, so now I'm going to add two cups of chicken broth. All right, so we have poured in the chicken broth into the rice. And I used two of these cans. Now, one can contains about a cup and a third or so of chicken broth. So I just put in the whole cans. I put two whole cans in here. Now, I'm going to add my secret ingredient. To All right, here is the secret ingredient for the Spanish rice. It is basically one cup of chunky salsa, whatever brand you would like. I am using paste picante. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the salsa in here. That is the secret ingredient right here, guys. Now I'm going to mix that all around. Now with this rice, you have to be super, super careful. It will burn if you leave it on uh, high heat. So you have to really uh, make sure that you are watching the rice so it doesn't burn, okay? It's gonna cook really slow. It's probably gonna cook now for the next 30 to 40 minutes um, on pretty low heat. And I'm just gonna be checking it every once in a while just to make sure that it is not going to burn. So you've been warned that if you walk away and leave this on the stove with high heat, it absolutely will burn very fast. So I am now going to cover this and I'm going to let it cook very slowly. And I'm gonna keep keeping my eye on it and keep turning the heat down as it cooks. I'm gonna cover this and it's going to cook on a medium low heat and I'm gonna come check on it in about 10-15 minutes. All right so it's been about five or so minutes and I'm seeing my rice is starting to boil a lot. I'm going to turn that down because I do not want it to keep boiling like this. I'm gonna turn it down to about a two on my um, stove top because I want the boiling to now settle down um, and the rice to cook slowly and not burn. Again, this rice will burn very easily if you do not watch it and if you let the uh, temperature stay too high. So I've now turned it down. Actually, I think I'm gonna turn it down to low. That way it can now just cook on its own for a few minutes. All right, so now my rice has been boiling for about 
five or so minutes. So I have turned it down to low and I want it to now just cook on very low heat. Um, I've turned my oven down to low. 15 minutes later, I'm gonna check on my rice. This is what it's looking like. So as you can see, the liquid is starting to dry up. The rice is cooking very nicely. It's just kind of taking its time. Cooking slowly, that's how you want it. You don't want to rush this dish because it will it will burn and that will not be good. Uh, but you can see it's coming along very nicely. So I'm gonna let that continue to cook another 15 minutes or so, just very, very low heat. All right, my rice should be done now. Here's what the final product looks like. Now we're going to plate our easy Spanish rice. All right, now I'm gonna plate my Spanish rice. There we go. I'm plating my Spanish rice now. You can see how it kind of came out perfectly. Go. This will go great with your Taco Tuesdays. That's what we're having tonight. It'll go great with any Mexican themed evening. Now you can see, even though I was very careful with the temperature, you can see the bottom, it still kind of sticks a little bit, but it didn't burn. Um, it just kind of stuck to the bottom of the pan, uh, but that's okay because it doesn't affect my rice. So here is my very easy Spanish rice recipe. Any beginner can make this. Uh, trust me, it will impress your guests. Uh, just again, be careful with the temperature, uh, but the rice comes out nice and fluffy. The salsa gives it a really nice, the salsa gives it a really nice flavor as well. Enjoy!